Oh, welcome back, everybody. I'm glad you guys are joining me today. A while back, I did a story about Kid Rock um, giving in on the boycott to Bud Light, right? He was uh, he was spotted drinking Bud Light at an event uh, that he was at, um, and people were speculating, this is this his way of ending his boycott against uh, the, the uh, beer company who featured uh, Dylan Mulvaney as a as on the can celebrating his womanhood, right? Um, and really alienating many, many of its uh, customer base. And a lot of people just going to the stores and saying, no, we're not going to buy any more of your, your woke garbage. And now it looks like uh, Kid Rock, it is for uh, certain now that he is giving in and no longer boycotting Bud Light any longer. And he's citing, of course, um, um, Kid Rock backs off to Bud Light as a God-fearing man. As a Christian, I have to believe in forgiveness. So I'm not forgiving Bud Light anytime soon as they have not said sorry, right? They have doubled down. They have done everything else that they could have instead of actually addressing the issue right when it happened, right? They should have addressed it right when the backlash started and say, hey, whoa, we did a bad thing. We apologize for that thing and that will never happen again. We'll be focused on providing a product that is not pushing a woke message such as uh, celebrating someone's womanhood uh, who clearly isn't um, in a pandering event in order to satisfy a very small fraction of society. Right. So uh, I don't believe Kid Rock here. I just don't think he wanted to uh, participate in, uh, in a boycott. I think he did the boycott for show, which he got uh, lots of lots of views on his video that uh, showed him uh, shooting up all the cases of Bud Light with his, uh, with his gun. And so uh, for this, for me, looking at Kid Rock is, sh is showing weakness in anyone else who is, uh, has decided to go ahead and, uh, and lift the boycott on Bud Light. So before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe button. If you're new here, thanks for joining me. Allow me to share some info with you. Hopefully you can share it with your friends and family. Smash that like button, 1500 likes. If you like the content, you like the video, you like the channel. You can become a member of the channel by smashing that join button, or you can hit that super thanks button as well. All of it is greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have here. Uh, over here from Breitbart, it says this, Kid Rock backs off Bud Light. As a God-fearing man, as a Christian, I have to believe in forgiveness. He says, uh, Kid Rock on Wednesday on Fox News Channel, Hannity, that he did not want the Republican Party to be all about cancel culture and boycotts. The entertainer helped incite a boycott after Bud Light sent a personalized case of beer to transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney. He said he believed in forgiveness, adding that the makers of Bud Light made a mistake. Anchor Sean Hannity said, I want the drivers to get back to work. I want the warehouse workers to get back to work. I want the guys loading the truck to get back to work. They don't do this. Uh, Rock said, uh, what nobody has, to talk, has talked about uh, you know, people say, well, they can get other jobs. What about their livelihoods? And Handy said, these are the these are high paying job career, high paying career jobs. And I agree. They are very good paying jobs. I know a lot of individuals who worked uh, who work with um, Budweiser. And I know that they thought leadership did a poor job in the cleaning up the mess. And they're still suffering from this um, until leadership gets out in front of it and it issues a formal uh, apology, which they won't because they will lose ESG points uh, for not being woke enough um, until they go through their department and start firing people who supported this, who uh, came up with the idea. This company is not going to be a strong company anymore. And and that there there is hurt when it comes to uh, when it comes to a boycott, right? There is going to be some hurt. But there has to be... Um, this company has to recognize it and it has to apologize, which they have not. They issued a, an apology, not apology letter, um, which didn't address any of it. They didn't say they were sorry. didn't say anything like that. So for Bud Light, uh, for Kid Rock to give in, you know, he can do what he wants. He's an individual. That's fine. Whatever. But no one's going to take you seriously any longer if you cannot even fulfill the boycotts that you think were wrong to, or to that were just when you start it and continue to apply the pressure until that company says, hey, we messed up and we're going to fix it from here on out. Uh, they refuse to do that because they know the backlash from the Trons community would absolutely be massive uh, PR disaster for them. So they don't want to even do that anyway. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Of course, you guys can follow me on all my social media, all linked in the description down below. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a great, great day.